Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United and of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody, it's a match preview this evening and it's a rainy day, it's a rainy evening now so keep dry and listen to the preview for, or my preview for the match, so it's a 12.30 kickoff on Saturday the 9th of December, lunchtime kickoff, Leeds United travel to Blackburn to take on Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park um, looking to continue um, our good form recently. This would make it three wins in a row if we can manage to get a win. Blackburn, of course, will be playing in their famous white and blue halved shirts with white shorts and, I think, blue socks. Leeds United, unfortunately, can we play in white, please? Unfortunately, not on this one. We're in the fruit salad kit, I think. The last time we played in it, obviously we lost 1-0 to Birmingham City. It's the only one and only time we've seen it in action in the Championship this season. Pink and yellow shirts with pink shorts and pink socks. Can we end the change shirt hoodoo, which has cursed us for a little while? Hopefully we can get a win on Saturday. So let's look at team news then. Um... It's pretty much as you were. Uh, Furpo's injured for, for about another two or three weeks. pervader has gone on international duty randomly with Colombia. His national team, his first call-up for, for, I think it's the Colombian B team. It's like a second team. It's the first team manager, but it's, a, it's not an official Colombian game, I don't think. Um, they play a couple of friendly games. One is on the Sunday. Is on Sunday, so he's missing for a few games. Uh, but it's pretty much as you were in terms of injuries. A uh, couple more. I think Ailing is 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 doubtful as well, and obviously Stuart Dallas uh, is out. So a couple of fringe players out injured at the moment. But uh, I think the starting eleven probably be similar to to what to what we saw on Saturday in the win over Middlesbrough. Let me know in the comments how you feel we're going to line up. But looking ahead and looking towards sorry, looking towards Blackburn then, um, I think Blackburn, yeah, I mean, under John Dale Thomason, who will be obviously missing from this weekend's match, he's incurred a one-game touchline ban because of his uh, conduct in his side 3-1 loss away at bottom side Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday. Uh, he also got two grand fine to, from the FA. So there you go. He will not be on the touchline, I don't think. But he'll be in the stand somewhere. It doesn't really make a difference, I don't think, in terms of how the team play, really. He, he, I don't know whether he'll be able to... I suppose he'll be banned from the, from any team interaction. Well, well, team sort of... Maybe I don't know how it works if he's... If he's banned from the changing room before the game and after the game, I don't, I don't know, but he won't be on the touch. I assume he probably probably will be, but who knows. Uh, but they've done a good job, generally, Blackburn overall. I mean, he can't be too disappointed. I know that they lost out to Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday. Very, very disappointing result. 3-1 defeat to the bottom team. But other than that, it's been okay. I mean, if you look at back at the five last five games, three wins and two defeats, nine points collected, it's it's not too bad. They sit currently just outside the playoffs in seventh position, a couple of points off Hull, and a win for them on Saturday. And other results go the way they could find themselves in the playoffs, and well, only eight points behind us. It should should they beat us. So it's not looking too bad, despite that disappointing result on Saturday for them. Uh, and, and one man who's absolutely bang in form is Sammy Smodix. Seven goals in his last five games. It's pretty much if, if Sammy doesn't score, they don't really score. Uh, you know, they'll play a, a four, they'll match us up 4 2 3 1. John Dal Thomason likes that. He's rarely strayed from that formation all season. But yes, Sammy Smodix has, has had a brilliant season. I mean, I made a video a few weeks ago saying that potential we should. Go and, and 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 get him from Blackburn in January. I think he'd, he's on hot form. I think he'd have a real, uh, impact in in our team. But he's 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 had a fantastic season. Fourteen goals, like I said, seven in his last five games, and if it, you know he scored nearly half of their goals. The good scorers, Blackburn, 
we're we're amongst the top scorers in the championship, obviously level with Leicester and Norwich on thirty four goals scored. Blackburn have scored thirty two, so they they score a lot. I think the problem is they they concede quite a lot as well and. They do create chances. They're up there at the top of the top of the stats for for big chances created. But they're also again like us, up there with big chances missed as well. So they do miss chances, but they create. They're they're a good side. They're not really full of big name or or, or any players like you might say. Well, he's a decent player. I like I like uh, Dole and I do, but uh, other than that, I think Moran, who's on loan from Brighton, is is doing okay as well. But I think generally it's it's just a team of like, it's a team of of championship players, isn't it? And they're always in and around the playoffs, and 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 maybe they'll get it. I don't know. John Dal Thomason, he's not a bad manager. I know we we were sort of whispered to be met to be to be interested in him in the summer. I don't know how solid those rumours were in the summer, but he's obviously an okay manager at this level. Um and and I expect a difficult match, but uh, do I think we'll win? I do think we'll win. Um, but you know you've just got to you've just got to wait and see. With it. Oh, that's football, isn't it? But for me, I think we should we should be able to have enough to beat this team on Saturday. Um, but let's wait and see. If we look at the history of this game, it's funny actually. Uh, two one seems to be a very popular scoreline when Leeds United come to Ewood Park. Four of the last five games between the two sides have finished in that scoreline. I think two, two to Blackburn, two to Leeds. Um, the other one in that run was the last time we went to Ewood Park, which was about three and a half years ago. Now we're during COVID on our way to the title. We won three one. Uh, with goals from Patrick Bamford, um, Calvin Phillips, sorry, and Matthias Click, saw us three one winners that day. Incidentally, that was a day that put us four points clear at the top of the championship and six clear of third place Brentford. Just for context, Luton got smashed five nil by Reading at Kenneth Kenilworth. Road on the same day. Look where the two those two teams are now. So shows how quickly things can change and fortunes can change in football. But um, yeah, I think it's a mixed bag again of of results over the last five. That's a run that stretches back nine years. So again, again, not really much you can you can look into that, but. We'll look at the travel guide as I like to do to wrap up the video then. Um, it'll take you an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 13 minutes to get from Ellen Road to Ewood Park um, on a train. It's going to be a heck of a journey because there are train strikes and problems on the trains over the next few days. So it's probably going to take you about four and a half hours maybe to get there. So plan it well and, and, and go early, maybe go Friday night. I will, I would obviously with it being a, with it being an early kickoff on the Saturday. Um, yeah. So trouble there. Uh, when you get to the station, it's, I think he would park a, a 34 minute walk or a 10 minute taxi ride. Uh, there is a pub there. It's a green King pub. Uh, the name just escapes me, but it's right, right close to the ground. Uh, they accept the away fans, they welcome away fans. I think it's about a five minute walk from Ewood Park. Obviously, a bit of grub, bit of morning breakfast or something. Breakfast in there uh, before you go to the game. I think the weather is going to be pretty similar to how it is at the moment. Pretty rainy over the weekend nationwide. I think really a lot of lot of wet weather to come for the country so take your max and take your coats and hopefully Leeds United will win let me know in the comments there below how you're feeling about this one and any Blackburn fans let me know as well how you're feeling about your season so far and the game itself thanks very much for watching marching on together I'll see you on the next one